Good morning, it's Bernard and I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to you guys about PayPal. I recently did an audit of my personal PayPal account and I was shocked to see what was in there because I had not done an audit in quite a while. If you haven't done it, I would suggest that you do so at least once a year because you may change credit cards, you may change preferences on how you want money spent. Uh, there, I actually found some fraud on mine where I was making direct payment, uh, direct TV payments to an account that I didn't have. I've got all that cleared up now. But I wanted to show you guys just a couple of things that may be of help. And I'm hoping that at least a little bit of this, um, you can see it on here. But what I would suggest that you do, click into your, into your account and go into the activity section and it'll look something like this, excuse me. And then when you're in there, you can scroll to all of your uh, purchases and um, uh, activity that's happened for whatever time period that you put. So do an audit right there, that, that's where I would start. Then I would go into wallet, which is just a few uh, down, a few uh, pull screens down and look at all your payment methods and make sure that those are current and correct and that's what you want. I wouldn't have too many credit cards or debit cards uh, assigned or linked in there. Remove whichever ones that you don't uh, use anymore or that are no longer active for you. I would go, another area where I would look is again in the, let me see, in the summary area no, excuse me, it's in the activity area that you'll be able to see, you can filter if you want to do a search uh, of things that maybe you've purchased or, or questionable things. Uh, you can always dispute these. Uh, PayPal has an area where you can go in and make online disputes. Uh, the other area where I would also suggest that you look to do an audit is make sure that when you're in your personal activity, your personal information, make sure that's all updated. Uh, addresses, uh, contact methods of communication, all of those things can be, um, need to be updated. But there's one last area that I want you to uh, make sure that you get in and look at is the area that talks about reoccurring payments. And let me see where that is. That's where you may have set up annual or monthly payments to like Netflix or uh, Uber, whatever you have commonly used. Make sure that you still use that because I think you're gonna be surprised that when you see, maybe you don't use these accounts very often or maybe they're still linked and you didn't realize, but you need to make sure that you're updated with those things. And again, I would, very, I would limit how many reoccurring or automatic payments that you have uh, set up through your PayPal account. Now, PayPal is very good at security, but we all know that doing anything online is not 100% secure, and I would never uh, trust that. So I think that it would be very helpful if at least once a year you spend five minutes in your PayPal account going through there, and I'm looking for the area that talks about uh, the reoccurring payments and that's something that you really need to make sure that that's one of the things but I think if you look at make sure your contact information is current and correct your uh, banking uh, and credit card information is uh, updated uh, the reoccurring payments is, is what you want and make sure in your activity that there's no fraud or, or somebody's abusing your account. That'll help you do an audit on your PayPal account, but it's going to take an annual review by yourself, I think, to make sure that you're up to date. That's all that I've got for now. hope that's helpful.